Hello, today we are going to be solving percent problems using markup. These are percent change problems where the number is increasing. Markup is a term that's used in business that represents the amount that they charge over their cost that covers both their overhead costs and their profit. We are going to use these percent change problems to deal with any time that our amount is going up. We call them markup or percent change problems, um, but they're not only used when talking about a money value being increased. They can be used for any value being increased. The equation for percent change, uh, which we use for both markup and markdown, is the difference between the original cost and the new cost over the original cost is equal to the percent change over 100. We always use the difference as the absolute value of the difference, and if it is increasing, we say that, we make sure that in our answer we say that the amount is increasing, and if it's decreasing, we make sure that our answer says that the amount is decreasing. So we're always going to use the positive or absolute value for the difference. Please make sure you have the percent change equation in your notes. Here's the first problem. A shop owner buys shirts for $25 and sells them for $35. Find the percent markup for the shirts. Here's a bar model to represent this problem. We know that 100% of the cost of the shirt is $25. Then the shop owner needs to mark up in order to cover their overhead costs and to have some profit by a certain amount. And then the, they go ahead and resell the shirts for $35. This purple value, the markup, is going to be the difference in the amount they buy the shirt to the amount they sell the shirt for, this is what we call the percent change or the markup percent. The first thing we need to do is find the difference in price from the original cost to the cost they're selling the item for. Again, we're always going to use the absolute value of the cost, and if it's the amount is going up, we're going to say that it's increasing in our answer, and if the amount's going down, we're going to say it's decreasing. We can also use markup to say it's increasing or markdown to say it's decreasing when we're talking about money. So we find the difference between the cost the shop owner is selling the items for and the cost that they purchased the items for, so the 35 minus 25, gets us a difference of $10. So we want to figure out what information we know. Now, <clears throat> we know that the three possible things that we might need to know is that the difference, the original number, and the percent change. Depending on the problem, you will always have two of those three things, and the third item is going to be what they're looking for. So here we figured out that the difference between the original cost and the new cost, again, always using the absolute value, is the $10. Your original number, now this one you have to be careful about, the original number is always going to be the first number. So if it's increasing, it's the lower number. But if the price is decreasing, it will be the higher number. So in this case, it's the $25, the original cost. And then the percent change, in this case, that's what the question is. That's what we're going to define our variable for. So in this case, we're going to use x. Now we need to set up our equation. Again, you should have the equation already in your notes. It's always going to be the difference in the values over the original number will equal the percent change over 100. Now we just need to substitute the numbers that we have and the uh, value of x into our equation. And again, if you can simplify your fractions, that's often easier. So I know that, notice that both 10 and 25 are divisible by 5. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify. Now I can use my cross products to solve. And it's going to be the 2 times 100 will equal the 5 times x. You always set your cross products equal to each other. I'm going to go ahead and simplify each side of my equation. I get 200 equals 5x. And now I can solve using my inverse operations by dividing both sides of my equation by 5. 
I get my answer 40 equals x, but I want to make sure I answer in a sentence, especially for these problems, because you need to make sure that you're including if the price is increasing or if it's decreasing. The answer to the question is that the shop owner is marking up the shirt by 40%. Now, I didn't have to say increasing because I said marking up, and remember marking up is means that you're increasing the, the cost. So you do need to make sure that whenever you're dealing with a percent change problem that you're either that you're indicating whether or not the number is increasing or if the number is decreasing. So in this case the number is increasing by 40 percent.